Luke was around three months old when I started noticing that some of his blankets were going missing. I knew I had fixed them nice and neat in his dog house for him to sleep on the night before. The next morning, his blankets were all piled in a corner of his pen with one or two missing. I would always find the missing blankets a few feet from the pen. Somehow, the blankets had been pulled out of the pen and dragged as if something had tried to steal them. For the life of me, I just could not figure out how this was happening or what was doing this. I knew I had fixed all the Duke's blankets for him to sleep on. I would never put them in a pile in the corner of his pen. Of course, I began to worry about Duke's safety alone in that pen. What if it was something dangerous trying to hurt him? I could only pray that he would be safe in there at night until I could figure this whole story out. It wasn't until I watched through my kitchen window one evening that I saw what was happening to those blankets. I saw two very fluffy and very adorable husky puppies who had managed to somehow get into the pen with Duke having a good time with those blankets. One was cream and white while the other was a reddish and white. Duke and the huskies would play for a while before the huskies would take each a blanket and slip back out of the pen the same way they came in, by sneaking underneath the pen fencing. I immediately went back to Duke's pen and fix back his blankets and take back the ones the huskies had stolen. It was pretty easy to get the blankets back since the huskies were pretty friendly. I even made sure to fix where they had gotten into Duke's pen so they couldn't take his blankets again. Come to find out, the huskies were being fostered by a neighbor who didn't even know they were getting out of his fenced-in yard. They were sneaking out through a hole in his fence and coming over to Duke's pen to make friends. Duke didn't seem to mind one bit. Once the holes were fixed, the blankets stopped going missing. It would have been cute to get this whole incident on film. Sadly, I didn't think of it at the time. But I sure wish I had. The Crawfish Let me ask you a question. What would you do for your fur baby? Would you do just about anything regardless of how you'd look to others? If your answer is yes, then this is definitely one of those stories that you'll understand. From time to time, Duke's former owner would allow me to bring Sam over for a few extra playdates with his brother Duke. Duke was still living with his former owner at the time. As you know, Duke was living in an outside pen, all because she didn't want to have a dog in her house, so the twins would have to play in the pen. It was around 8 p.m. on a Sunday summer evening, I was enjoying the sunset and allowing the twins a few more extra minutes of playtime before bringing Sam home for the night. It was rare for them to have this extra time, so I was more than happy to let them have it on this nice evening. That's when I heard them begin to bark loudly. Thinking they were barking at each other and fighting, I quickly ran across the street to the pen to see what was going on between the twins. It was quickly getting dark and I didn't have a flashlight. When I made it to the pen, I saw Duke and Sam were not barking at each other, but at something inside the pen. I couldn't see what it was without a flashlight, so I hurried over to knock on Duke's owner's front door to ask her to turn the outside light on. She didn't have one, but she did have a flashlight. After she came out with the flashlight and the pin door key, I quickly opened the door and got in the pin without thinking about what was in there with the boys. I immediately shined the flashlight around the pin and saw what the twins were barking at. A crawfish. I guess they were working together to get the crawfish out of their pin by barking at it. It just wasn't working out that well at all. After removing the little crawfish from Duke's pin and relocating it to a nearby ditch, I gave the flashlight and the key back to Duke's owner and brought Sam home for the night. It wasn't until after I got home that I realized just how funny the whole situation was. I mean, how often are you going to have to save two dogs from a small crawfish? If you enjoyed our video, let us know what your favorite part was in the comments below. For more Sweet Little Duke, check out this playlist right over here, and don't forget to drop us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell to be notified when we put out a brand new video. We post Monday through Friday at 12pm Central Time, and would love to have you as part of our YouTube troupe. Thanks for watching! Later!